Everybody, what's going on it's the daily divers here back at it again with another episode for you guys if you are new to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the dumpster squad and also don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also a happy Thanksgiving to all of you we want to thank you guys so much for helping us get to where we are today without you guys we wouldn't be doing these amazing videos and showing you everything that we find but um, so last night we did go out, checked a whole bunch of dumpsters, and like we said before, security has been pretty tight, I guess because of the holidays. But we did find a couple things. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a clip real quick. I saw that um, one of the stores we went to, all the candles we found, all the glass was broken, but I did a little trick and I'm gonna show you guys how you can reuse these candles. But um, I also wanna announce the winner from two episodes ago, so here they are. So we went to two different places last night. We checked everywhere, couldn't find anything, but we did find stuff from two different stores. This is from the office supply store and this is from the craft supply store. And I'm just gonna show you guys this stuff first. Um, we found four 30 gallon bins we only found one lid but each of these bins have like either a chip or a crack and also with the lid it is a little bit beat up but it still does close i'm definitely going to use these still i'm definitely going to use the one with the lid for like storage maybe like for decorations or stuff seasonal stuff and i'm definitely going to use the other ones just to like store stuff into and I think I'm gonna keep one in the car when we find stuff, I can just toss it in the bin. So that's really neat, definitely like all of that. And then over here in the craft supply store, let me sit down and get a little comfy here. All right, so we found four of these little, um, the Bright Tidings candle lamps. We found these before and I think we found five before and only one wasn't working for some odd reason. But these are really nice. And then what I noticed too, guys, I wonder if I could see it on these boxes. Okay, here we go. Let's see, pull it up. Okay, you guys notice how one says $3.99 and the other one says $2.99? I don't know maybe if people noticed it in the store, but it must have been like either maybe a year ago. Maybe, maybe some of these are older than the other ones and they just come out with them and just restock them. But I'm definitely gonna check all these and see if they do work. They sound like they all are in there. Let's just take a peek at each one of them. All right, so that one's in there. It's missing the bulb, but that's the bulb's cheap, so it's okay. Here's another one. Oh, the bulb's broken on that one. I'm gonna have to take some pliers to take it off. Let's see about this one. This one has a bulb. And the last one. This one also has the bulb. It is separately wrapped. So I'm definitely gonna check these out and see if they do work. Really neat stuff. I like having these on our windows during the holidays and because they're like the plug-in ones. I used to have battery operated ones, but they weren't as bright and they always constantly just like the batteries always died, but definitely like these. Let me scoot those out of the way. And then over here, this is so cute and it's gonna be an easy fix. We found this cute like little house, I guess like decor house, let me see. It was $39.99 and it says it does light up. And the only thing wrong with it is that like the door right here is a little bit broken, but um, 
it's just like the paper behind it. So all I'm gonna do is just take like an X-Acto knife and cut it out. And then over here, the top of like, I guess like this tower broke off, but guys, it's made of cardboard. So it's just, I can easily just shove all those lights back in there and just glue it back up. And it's got a cute little chimney. It's like this furry, oop, it's shedding. Furry, like fabric-y kind of material, some cute little trees. Um, I do have to put some batteries into it because it isn't lighting up. But these are so cute. I like having like little houses like this. I know when I've been in there before, they had like a ton of different other ones, like little churches and like, I, I guess this, this might be a church, I'm not sure. But they had like little log houses and cabins and all that. Really nice, really pretty. Does shed a lot, that's the only issue, but that's okay. All right, now starting off with the candles. If I can open it. Okay, so we found, I think we found like five boxes of them, but a lot of the boxes only had one or two candles in them, but I just took all the glass off and combined them into three big boxes, so they're all full. Um, I wanna show you guys, so I should have, I probably should have recorded it, but I didn't think about it, but, um, so all the glass was broken and I just took some like, you know, gloves to protect my hands so I didn't get any glass. And all I did was take a hammer and hit the glass and literally a majority of them, when I hit it once, literally the candle part just popped off. The wick is still intact and so is the bottom. And I think these are the gingerbread ones. These smell really good. And these are expensive in the craft supply store. I know usually they do like sales, like one for 10 or it's like two for 10 or something like that, but really nice. But what's really neat, this box was completely sealed. But the cool thing about this box was that two of these candles, guys, were completely fine. They weren't even broken. Oh, okay, so they were $5.99. So I think they maybe do like sales of two for 10 or three for 10, something like that. And these are the ginger cookie scents. Really nice, 17 ounces scented candles really really nice so we found six of the ginger cookie scented ones um let's move on to this box okay so this one i think is called evergreen or something like that and i did the same exact thing some of the candles were a little bit more beat up because the way that the glass jars around them was broken like as you guys see like this one was really cracked but I did the same exact thing just took a hammer and hit it and then it literally either popped off in one piece or a couple big pieces and then just remove the glass with the gloves definitely got to use these candles really nice i love like all the um holiday scented ones that they come out with every season so as you guys see they're all perfectly fine and these are the evergreen ones And then this last box is the Woodland Pine scent. Same color. And we have six of the Woodland Pine. Just want to show you guys. And if you also ever come across a candle where when you do break the glass off and the bottom parts of these are literally like extremely glued to the glass part, all you do is you could take a hair dryer and point it at the glass. Make sure the glass doesn't get too hot to the point where it's going to melt the candle, but it will loosen up the glue and it will pop off very easily. So these are really nice. Found six of these. And they smell really, really good. This one smells kind of it smells it smells like Christmas tree but like a fresh cut one like you know what I mean when you go and cut a tree it's got like that um, woodsy smell to it kind of like musky kind of scent just showing you guys all the candles yeah, so these are all the candles that we found and then let me show you guys a really neat trick. If you ever come across like broken candles and you do the, remove the glass and you don't know what to do, one thing you can do is that you can take um, like those big um, like vase looking glass, I guess like 
containers or something like that. You can get them at like, um, like craft supply stores and stuff, and you can get one wide enough for you just to slide the candle. You can also reuse candle holders. All you can do is that try to remove the wax as much as possible, and then you can let it sit in some hot water for a little bit, and it'll help remove it some more. And then just take like a rubbing alcohol pad. But this is what I do, guys. Let me show you. So if you guys recognize this, um, this coffee cup was from, I think maybe one or two episodes ago. I'm not, I can't exactly remember. And it was $5.99. It had a couple chips in it. And then I stuck the candle that we found. We, I think we found two candles um, from one or two episodes ago. And I just stuck it in there and it fit perfectly fine. And then over time when it melts, it completely fills it out. So it's not gonna like wobble or shake. But this is a really neat idea that I do. And I usually do this with like the coffee cups that we do find, maybe like some bowls or something like that. But that is like a little trick for you guys to do if you don't wanna go out and buy something. You might have maybe like an old chipped um, soup bowl, salad bowl, coffee cup, normal cup any type of bowl and you guys can just stick the candle right in there and what I like about it is that it doesn't get too hot so it isn't going to destroy anything but I still always sit it on like a coaster just to be safe so it doesn't leave a mark on our table but yeah guys this is everything that we did find found a lot of pretty neat things not as much as usual but definitely love all the candles and this cute little house and the fact that we found some more storage bins. Love getting free storage bins. But yeah, guys, this is going to conclude this night's episode. If you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And tune in for tomorrow night for another episode.